Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Godwin Akwabio asked to immediately resign after exposing what the Senate, uh, you know, the money, the level of money they are sharing, how they get a little bit of money for recess, for break, why Nigerians are hungry. Some people are barely having a meal a day. Is this a fair society? Is there anything right in this society at all? It is terrible to mention but a few, okay? The, the things that are going on and every single person needs to understand that we have a society where the rich oppress the poor because if that is not the case, I don't know what else is. That the government do not care about the people but really what they care about is themselves. Remember, you have a voice. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Don't forget that we presented you with a video yesterday where he was saying that a little token has been dropped in the account. And when we checked the token, the token was in millions. Yet, you know, those who are working hard are barely looking for 200,000 naira for minimum wage, which the government has refused, reducing it and leaving it at 35,000 naira a month. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. See me, Frank, a former deputy speaker of the All Progressive Congress APC, has asked Godwin Akbabio, the incumbent Senate president, to step down. Frank, in a video signed by his media aide on Wednesday, August the 9th, said Akbabio made a mockery of Nigerian democracy. Frank is an ally of Alaji Atikwa Bubaka, the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, PDP. You must resign, Frank tackled Akwabio. Frank stated that it was insensitive for the federal lawmakers to enjoy national resource in the name of holiday to reconvey again on the end of September. At the time, Nigerians are facing the worst hardship in the history of time, another economic challenge. His words, show me the show of shame and I will show you Akbabio. This is demonstrated yesterday on live national TV. We had a senator under Akbabio, where the Senate under Akbabio was telling the whole world that they were going on vacation and the clerk of the National Assembly has paid money to everyone's account of the Nigerian senators. This is the biggest joke of the century. You would have seen in recent times what really is going on. But that is not the main reason. Why I'm asking, taking this very bold step and making it clear that Senator Godwin Akwabio must immediately resign as a Senate president because he has displayed the most inhuman way ever that human beings can treat the other persons. How can we ever behave in such a way the other people are not worthy to have money to spend why you guys go on holiday buy holy buy tickets and go and enjoy yourself this is the wickedness of the century and must be curbed immediately well frank i think you speak for most nigerians i think i personally think you do we heard it on live TV yesterday. We had the Senate president. Afterwards, you could, you know, said, oh, the senators were going on recess and uh, something has been put in their accounts by the clerk of the Senate. And the senators began to say, ah, must everybody know? So if it's something that was right, if it's your salary, all things being equal, should you complain? Should you speak out that he has made the whole world know what you guys do? that he has made the whole world know what you guys do. Why are you guys behaving the way you are? Why are you guys doing what you are doing? Why? What's your reason? What's your reason? What's, what's the reason? You must make up your mind and let it go. And know that these people, honestly, sincerely speaking, they are mostly for themselves. Nigerians are not in the question, if that's what you're thinking. Oh dear, I, I, I hate to be the one to bust the bubble. They don't care. All this meeting with, uh, you know, they said they are meeting with, uh, you know, NLC, Nigerian uh, Labour Congress and all that. It's all a joke, a real joke of the century. They don't, they are not implementing anything and they don't want to. What will it cost them? If it's not wickedness, I don't know what else is. 
what will it cost them to make minimum wage at least 200,000 naira? Do you understand the level of suffering people are going through? Do you have a clue? The level of suffering. If the Senate, if the senators are getting that amount, what is the president getting for every holiday? What is the first lady getting for every holiday? Are we saying they are not entitled to any benefit due them? That's not what we are saying. We are saying, as you are getting your butter, but, but, but your bread buttered, think of the masses, the common man and woman on the streets who have bills to pay. And you know the way we are in Nigeria. We, we live in colony. What I mean by that is almost every Nigerian family has a baggage. You have somebody who is depending on you. That's what I also mean by the baggage. You have somebody who is looking up to you. That when your salary comes, his school fees will be, will be looked after. You have a family member. You have somebody who you will assist with hospital bill. There is somebody somewhere who will rush you in the middle of the month. Sir, please, you are the last hope. Hey, if it's 20,000 naira, and that is even on the minimum side. So what exactly are we seeing? What exactly is going on? And why do we allow the same thing? to go on. It is terrible to mention but a few those things that are done. Okay? It is terrible those things that are done. Why people would choose to be wicked to other people who are human beings like them simply because they are in a position. If we continue like this, how do we ever sort out the real issue going on in this country? There are all kinds of things going on. You know? There are all kinds of things going on. And if there is any time where we should pay attention and focus must become our watchword, this is the time. This is the time. Nigerians, this is the time. Okay? Okay? So this is why every single person must arise. It's every single person must arise and speak out. Because we cannot allow people who are just there looking out for themselves to continue. Okay? Who are just there looking out for themselves to continue. Okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice.